two, three. Hi, we're the Bimmer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. So welcome to episode 27 of Virtual Boat Shopping. V B S. We're trying to be kind of quiet, because if this doesn't <laughs> look like our usual setting, we're actually in a hotel room. Yeah, we're at the beach to celebrate his big birthday. Um, yeah, and they're trying to squeeze in this episode of VBS. So let's That's see how, how committed we are to this effort. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, um, today we're going to look at a fan favorite. Sorry. Everybody keeps saying to look at more Nordhavens, and we've been given a lot of suggestions of different models of Nordhaven. Fan favorite and daddy favorite. Yes, we love a Nordhaven. Amazing, very ocean capable incredible boats that hold their value and Mark's favorite, but... For what? What are we doing? Oh, we're doing the Great American <laughs> Loop, which is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States using intercoastal waterways, rivers, um, lakes, and the ocean. So, how, how deep can our boat be? Yeah, well, that gets us to the problem with a lot of Nordhavens is that they are full displacement holes and they're just too deep below the water. You can't be any deeper than six feet, preferably less than five feet, ideally like four and a half feet. Yeah, um, Nordhavens, they have a bulbous bow, which is a big old thing under the water. So well, they, and there are some that are less that can do it in terms of the depth. But you get very small. But they only have two staterooms, and we really want three staterooms because we'll have our kids and hopefully a tutor with us. So three staterooms is what we're looking for. So most of the ones that people have suggested only have two staterooms, and some of them are glorious. But we should be in the mindset that, I mean, two staterooms is not preferred, but it is doable. That's, that is correct. And there's one that's on the market right now that we think is worthy of a looky-loo. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay. What is it? So this is the Nordhaven 40. It's a 2001. It is $415,000. And... It's in Florida. It's in Florida. Dania Beach. Yeah, so... So that, once again, this is $400,000. We were looking at a $450,000, 55-and-a-half-foot, three stateroom boats with twin engines mm -hmm. of on the symbol. Um, and this is a $400,000 boat that's... 15 feet shorter, one less engine, and one less stateroom. But, but that's the brand and the... the it's a Nordhaven. Yeah. So that's they hold their value, which is great because we intend to sell this boat as soon as we're done with the loop. So something that holds its value would be ideal. I'm going to look at the specs. We know that it, the, it, it's really hard to find those specs. The draft on this is 4.9. Um, For a 40-foot boat. Yeah, so totally doable. Um, we wish it was a little less, but doable. So it also has to be less than 19 feet, six inches. So all these big things sticking up I the top of the boat are, would have to floop down. Those things are called paravenes. <laughs> yeah, and it well, is a stabilizer system that is uses no electricity. Uh, offshore fishing rigs use, so it's tried and true, but, but they it's go, tall. They go this way, right? They don't go like, so you like you're gonna be like, why going underneath the sea? You gotta be. You would have to take this off You'd have to get rid of the paravines, though, which basically is half the whole reason for having the Nordhaven. Maybe you could take them off and store them somewhere? Well, I'm sure you could. Sideways? But, oh, on the boat? On the boat. Okay, well, let's just look at it. So that's the visual. I think it's cool looking. I like the little but you have n racing stripes on the front. This does not have a uh, flybridge. No, but wait till you see inside. Okay, so it's cute, right? It's little. It's cute. <laughs> that is awful for a Nordhaven. Please excuse her. <laughs> it's cute. It's little. It, we would be super nimble. It'd be super easy for us to handle. N nimble like, short, not nimble deep. And we're still deep. Yeah, but nimble in terms of docking yeah. it. We could fit into all the marinas. We've had um, people say, you know, if you're over 50 feet, you can't park anywhere on the loop. Well, plenty of 50 foot plus boats have done the loop. It's just, it's more difficult. Yeah. So this would be really easy to get into most marinas while we're on the loop. Look at that shippy bow though. And you got dough raids. I love the dough raids. Those are air vents to go down to the engine room. Okay. Wait, should we point it? Oh yeah. And then that's, uh, wow. that's good interior <laughs> space. That's pretty See? Good. And I tell you, Nordhaven makes a great galley. Yeah. I mean, very that's, functional. It's I love that. Now, horrific. This, what's the beam? We didn't go to stats. Oh, well, you rushed too. Sorry. 
It's only 14 foot 6 inches in beam. So there's a little trickery there, photographable. It's a well, how many gallons? Fuel, water? 131 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> What's our top speed? It's just slow, it's just what you want. So it's a lugger, and you have a backup engine which is 26 horsepower. <laughs> so you're good to go there. <laughs> oh wait, they added the 26 and the 105 for the main engine to get to the grand total of 131, 131 horsepower. horsepower. But that means the fuel tank is 920 gallons. You could go forever. Y yeah. You're going to fill up maybe three times on the loop. Fill up half as many times potentially with this boat than you would. Oh. I just, just, I just found the deal breaker in this. There's one bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> But I wait, if it's the could, four of us, I'm sorry. they use our bathroom anyway. No, if one bathroom, I, I gotta have two, ba two bathrooms on the boat. There are the refrigerators to the left of the settee. Uh huh. The, those are freezers. Maybe they're deep freezers. That's actually a fairly comfortable looking little settee. I know that, like, if you had two people on this boat, it'd be incredible. That's but, what this is designed but for. Two adults, two kids, an occasional guest, two cats. Uh, a, a tutor who's an adult. This is a cruising couple who want a guest to come and stay for a night or two. That's very comfortable. I kind of, I'm, ooh. Look at that galley, it's great. Okay, you have an oven. Looks like All right, there's trash a dishwasher compactor, and a dishwasher, trash compactor. Dishwasher, microwave. And an oven. And plenty of room for spices. Yeah, look at the way, look, wine holders. I love that little port light to the left. Tons of spices, slow cooker. The, the I don't color, mind the blue, the color actually. color coordinates. Okay, you go down. Now, you've always th said from all the boat oh, shows. Oh, the down and the up. We've been heavens. in, have we been in this one, or this model? You go down and then you, it just. Well, they it, all do that. And there's the one head. That right there is my deal breaker. It better be a spacious head. Okay, fun for the kids. I mean, nice little, tiny little bunks. Little office. That's Storage. The, no, that's the bunk room. I know, but there's oh, okay. your office, that's a printer. And there's the master, which is m like most VIPs. Okay, and there's our one head. At least it's not a wet bath. We got that Oh, a captain's berth. That's fun. Yeah, but you can't exactly put like a tutor going, here's your bed, you get to sleep. Here. No, that's the, I can't sleep, I go up here. Yeah. Or, it's a terrible night and I'm You're worried about watch. the anchor, which yeah. is what's so great about a Nordhaven. I'd use the heck out of that. Where's that? That's, is that looking back up towards the... That's coming from the staterooms up. Oh, I like the look at that, like, top. Yeah, that's cool. It won't. Look at that helm. That is basically a commercial ship. I know, that looks very shippy. Do you know why they do it straight up like that? So that you can lean against it? Glare. To reduce oh, the I was glare. thinking the steering wheel. I like that you've got your handy screwdriver and pliers right there, and a sharpie should you need them. You never know on a Nordhaven. Okay. You're always at the ready. Raymarine, it's nice. Do you see what I see? Yeah, it's not. Those are bow thrusters, not a yacht controller. Oh, sorry. Got all excited for you. It's got cameras. I love that it has cameras. Single shift. But bow and stern. Yeah, that makes up for it. And they have huge rudders. We have a inboard ski boat. Fairly good at the single engine yes, yeah. inboard, which only reverses in one direction, which I assume is what a Nordhaven is, is gonna, gonna do. Because I can actually parallel park, come in, cut it, and back in. And Not to toot your own horn. Then parallel park. But if I got that, that I could get You could. You would be as proficient good. at that as well. Clearance, 29 feet. That's with all the... That's with everything up. Okay. Is that a rear... That's a docking station. Those are throttles. Yeah, but like, but that's all they got. Yeah. Nice tender. With the Tohatsu. Ooh. There's the one engine. Okay. That's so, the wing engine. Nordhaven. Amazing boats. If we are going to be going like... To the South Pacific. Yes. Perfect. But for the Great Loop, it seems like overkill. It Look at that though. That's... Look, Portuguese bow. Mark's still trying. He's like, I want a normal man. I'm just, I'm gonna use my executive veto power and as much as I know you want a You're normal You're giving a hard no, not I'm even give, a maybe. It's a hard no. It's wow. too small. It's technically too tall. It only has one head. 
Yeah, there's better boats for us. And there's better boats for the loop. I want Nordhaven to work. I think the Coastal Pilot would be great. We had people that own the actual Coastal Pilot that we reviewed that said oh, yeah, we absolutely so cool. love our boat, but wouldn't necessarily recommend it for the Just loop. Just for the loop. Yeah. See? There you have it. All right, so that's a 40. And then in another one, let's look at a 41, I think, and a 43. So that'll come in the future. If so, one comes available and it's not a hard no, this is a hard no. I need two so heads. So do I even get the vote if you get a hard no? Okay. But here's the thing: so when, you're, when you're when you're yachting, there's yes, a lot like of weather. times with weather, and it's like, do we go? Do we, and and we have decided that if one of us gives it a hard no, it stays. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing with boat shopping. <laughs> this is a hard no. The admiral says no. I'm just the lowly captain. Okay. Anyway. Love the suggestions. This is very helpful because it broadens our, our search and the scope of what we're looking for. And this is actually a great boat. If it was just the four of us, we could make it work. But I do think with two young children, we need a tutor with us. Okay. There so, we go. And two potties. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in. Thanks for the suggestions. Thanks for the comments. We love them. And until next time, shine on. Shine on. Let's go to the pool. Yeah, we gotta edit this. I know. And we gotta figure out how to do it. Is it a pool it. Or back or a pond? Oh, yeah. Pond and a pool. And a beach. And a marsh. Anybody gets to guess where we are. <laughs>